Hi, my name is Lindsay Williams, and welcome to Endeavor Wellness Yoga, or Ooh Yoga. Today we are at the beautiful Loose Park, continuing our tour of the parks in Kansas City, Missouri. Check it out if you have some time. And we will be doing a practice dedicated to gratitude today. We are grateful for the bodies we've been given, and we will be luxuriating in all the movements available to us by moving every single joint in our body, from our head all the way down to our toes. If you like this practice, please remember to like, share this video, or remember to subscribe to my channel and meet me at the top of the mat. Find a comfortable seated position on your mat and go ahead and close your eyes. Begin by gently rocking your torso from side to side, feeling the mat underneath your legs your legs resting against one another, your hands on top of your thighs, feeling the breath as it enters into your lungs, slowly still your movements to a comfortable stillness. And let's focus on our breathing, inhaling, and exhaling for five breaths. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five. Exhaling five, four, three, two, one. Completing the last breath at your own pace. Inhaling your arms up and overhead. Exhaling your hands down to your heart center. Again, inhale your arms up overhead. Exhaling them down to your heart center. Slowly opening your eyes. And let's begin with the first small movement of just lifting our ribs up and down by taking a big inhale, inhaling in and exhaling. Even in breathing, we're never completely still. All right, let's go ahead and begin with moving our necks. So go ahead and drop your right ear to your right shoulder in lateral flexion. And then left ear to left shoulder. Picking your head back up, dropping your chin to your chest, flexing your neck, lifting your head, and lifting your chin to the sky, extending your neck back and bringing it back to the neutral position. Now looking to your right, rotating your head, and then looking to the left, rotating your head. Let's do all those movements one more time. Lateral flexion of your right ear to your right shoulder, lateral flexion of your left ear to left shoulder, picking your head back up, flexing that neck back down, picking it back up and extending the neck back, Back to neutral position and then looking to your right, rotating the neck to the right and then to the left. Back to the middle. Let's go ahead and get our shoulders involved, lifting our shoulders to our ears and then letting them fall down to the side, moving our shoulders up and down. Wonderful. Let's do that one more time. This time lift it up and then roll it back. Again, lift it up, roll it back. Let's move the other direction, lifting it up, 
and forward and up and forward all right let's move on to our fingers with our fingers just extending our fingers all the way out and closing them extending our fingers and flexing them close again extension and flexion wonderful to move it to our wrists extending our wrist and flexing extending and flexing moving to our elbows extending and flexing here extending and flexing now we're moving to a slightly different movement moving our elbows our forearms with our elbows so supinating and pronating, supinating, and pronating again, supinating, and pronating, supinating, and pronating. All right, let's move some bigger joints. Let's move our shoulders, so flexing our arms up and extending them back. Inhale, flexing up. Exhale, extending them back. One more time, inhale, and exhale. All right, let's inhale, bring them up, out and up. Exhale down to the side. And when we bring them up, that's called abduction, abduction. Exhale, adducting, adduction. One more time, inhaling up. And exhale down to the side. All right, go ahead and bring them out to the side, bringing them towards the midline in front of us and out. It's a horizontal plane we're moving in. We're bringing them together, adduction, adding them together, bringing them apart, abduction, abduction. Moving here, moving our shoulders. And then we're gonna move onto a slightly smaller movement. We're going to move our scapulas. So we're gonna retract our scapulas together and then protract them, spreading them apart. Retract, bring your shoulder blades together and then spreading them apart. I'm gonna turn around so you see that same movement, okay? Retracting, protracting, retracting, protracting, wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and let's start moving into our spine. So coming into all fours, moving to the cat and cow here. We're gonna inhale into cow and exhale into cat moving in flexion and extension of our spine inhale extending and exhale flexing here wonderful we're turning to neutral spine and we're actually just going to shift our side spine side to side here this lateral flexion of our spine. Think about just wagging your dog tail. Moving side to side here. All right, let's go ahead and start to move into our hips. So we're gonna extend that leg up and bring it back down. Extending our hip joint and bring it back down. One more time, extending up and bring it back down. Extending up, and now let's move our knee. Extending our knee and flexing. Inhale and flexing. Extending and flexing. Wonderful, bring it down. Let's go ahead, extend that hip and flex. Extending and flexing. Extending and flexing. Bring that to that position, extend that knee and flex. Extending and flex. One more time, extending and flexing. Wonderful, we turn it to tabletop position. Now we're focused on our feet and our toes. So taking one foot and we're just going to plantar flex and dorsiflex, plantar flex and dorsiflex, the reason we call it plantar flexion because this portion of our foot is a plantar surface and that portion of our foot is the dorsal surface. So plantar flex, flexing towards the plantar portion and then flexing towards the dorsal portion. Now let's move our toes. Point those toes 
and flex them, point, and flex one last time, point, and flex, wonderful, same thing on the side, plantar, and dorsi, plantar, and dorsi flex, and plantar, and dorsi flex, point those toes, extend, point, and pull them back, point and pull them back. Wonderful. Tuck those toes. Now we've moved almost all the joints in our body. Lift those knees back to the downward facing dog. I don't know if you guys hear that plane overhead, but I do. It's really loud. I apologize. Go ahead and just move in your down dog here. Go ahead and almost lower all the way to the ground, keeping your knees hovering off the ground and picking them back up. Lowering almost all the way to the ground and picking them back up. One last time, almost all the way to the ground. Holding here, five, four, three, engage that core, two, one. Picking them back up with strong work. Walking your hands towards your feet. You're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time until you are in a standing position, rolling those shoulders back a couple times. Wonderful job. Meet me at the top of that mat. Let's just slowly move our hips here. We haven't completely used all planes and motions of our hips. So start by just twisting your hips side to side, rotating them side to side. You can even move your arms as you rotate. Putting your hands on your flip hips and just rotating them in a lateral plane. All right, we're gonna move, use all those motions coming up next, all right? Inhale those arms out to the side. Supinate those elbows and flex, flex. Pronate those forearms and flex, and flex. Inhale wide, and exhale, bring those hands together. Inhale them apart. Inhale them apart, and then exhale, bring them together. One more time, inhale. Exhale, bring them together. Bring your hands to your hips. Go ahead and move into triangle. Turning that right foot out. Your toes facing the front of the mat. Your back foot is perpendicular to that front foot. You're gonna shift your weight into the lateral edge of that foot and shift the weight in the front foot into the front part of your foot or the balls of your foot. You're gonna inhale those arms up and exhale. Flip that palm up, inhale, reverse, reverse triangle. Exhale, bring it back down. We're gonna shift our torso and then we're going to bend our spine. This is lateral flexion of our spine until we rest our hand on our shin on a black or on the ground, whichever is most comfortable. And we're looking up at our hands, one long line of energy in between our hands, coming from the ground, shooting all the way out through our top hand, holding here, engaging that belly for three, two, one, put that hand on your hip. We're gonna bend that front knee and we're moving into side angle or Uttita Parsva Kanasana. So I'm bending that front foot. You might need to spread your feet out a little bit further apart. You can keep that arm on that elbow, keep that elbow on your leg or rest your hand on the ground, whichever one. If you think about it, that back foot Shifting your weight into the outer edge of that foot. This time in your front foot, the weight is in the heel of that foot. And we're going to inhale our arms up and over ahead. It's this side angle or Uttita Parsal Kanasana holding here. Five. Engaging that belly. Four. One long line of energy from your foot, shooting out through your fingertips. Three. Two. And one. Wonderful. We're gonna inhale coming up. Warrior two, straightening that leg. Hands on your hips. Go ahead, jump to the middle. Huh. It's almost DT heat. All right, let's go ahead and find our legs in a slightly apart position, inhaling those arms up. 
supinate, flex, and flex, pronate those, el those forearms, and flex, and flex, inhale your arms wide, exhale, bring them together, inhale them wide, exhale, squeeze in the air out of your body, one more time, inhale, bring the air in, and exhale, squeezing it out, wonderful, and bringing them out to the side. Go ahead and bring your hands down to your hips. Move it into Trikonasana or Triangle Pose. So turning our left foot out, facing the front edge of the mat. And our back foot is perpendicular to it, shifting our weight and our back foot towards the outside angle, shifting the weight in our front foot towards our toes or the ball of our foot. Inhaling our arms up, exhaling. And then inhaling, lateral flexion of that spine and exhaling and then looking up towards our hands in this position think about rolling that hip up and open towards the sky opening your chest up and open towards the sky shooting your arms straight up one long line of energy from this hand down here all the way to the hand up top holding for three more breaths three two and one wonderful moving into side angle or utita parzo kanasana. Bending that front knee. You might need to slide that back leg out just a little bit. Resting this arm on that front knee or rest it inside that foot. Whichever one's most comfortable. Inhaling the arm up and over. Utita trikonasana. Shifting the weight in our outside back foot towards the outside part of the foot, shifting our weight in the front foot towards the heel, engaging our belly, open that chest towards the sky, looking up, holding, three, two, and one, inhaling, coming up into that warrior two position, exhaling, straightening that knee, hands to your hips, jumping back to the middle, Samas Titihi. All right, let's go ahead and turn to the side. We're gonna move into chair pose. So chair pose, we're gonna inhale our arms up. This is Utkatasana, chair pose. In chair pose, we're shifting our weight into the backs of our heels. Think about tucking, tucking here, or actually instead of tucking, just directing your tailbone towards the ground. Keeping that belly engaged, coming as low as you can, holding three, two, one, standing up, inhale, chair, exhale, standing up, doing it again, inhale, exhale, this time coming to chair, holding it here, hold chair, shifting your weight into that back foot or that left foot, lifting this leg up off the ground, a little bit of a balance pose here, we're going to straighten that knee, flex, straighten, and flex, one more time, straighten and flex. Now we're gonna keep it straight. We're gonna plant our flex that foot. Dorsey flex, plant our flex. Dorsey flex, you can do it, plant our flex. Dorsey flex, keep it plant our flex it. Point those toes, pull them back. Point those toes, pull them back. One more time, point, pull them back. Dorsey flex, bend that knee. Plant that foot. Woo! That was tough, wasn't it? Go ahead and come in into Samas Titihi. Inhale back into that chair pose. Taking, shifting our weight back to the left foot. Taking our right. We're going to extend that leg back behind us. Keeping that leg straight. And then planting our toes down on the ground behind us. That ball of foot down on the ground behind us. You can lower your arms down. So when I think about you think about doing this is crescent pose. So in crescent pose, our weight in our front foot is in the heel. Obviously, the weight in the back foot is in the ball of our foot. Think about keeping that back knee straight as you can, directing your tailbone down to the ground, engaging that belly. So you don't want to do this, not doing this. Engaging the belly, directing the tailbone down to the ground, inhaling those arms up. Crescent pose holding here. And then release, standing up. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, exhale, one last time, inhale, exhale, strong work. Go ahead and lower that foot down, the heel down in the back, moving into warrior one position. In warrior one, our foot is at a 45 degree angle in the back, but we're trying to keep our hips as square as possible, facing forward like headlights in a car. Inhaling that arm up, arms up, and holding here. You can look up towards your hands, holding three, two, one. Exhale, wonderful. All right, pick up that heel again, moving back into chair pose. So coming back to our chair pose, Samas Titihi. All right, you go ahead and shake it out, step it out. It's a lot of work on that one leg. Now we have to get to the other side of the mat. You can do it however you want. I think I'm going to do a somersault, okay? Rolling back. That was fun. All right, now I'm on the other side of the mat. I hope you are too, because this is where we're going. All right, coming into chair pose. Holding here, chair pose. Think about directing your tailbone down to the ground, shifting your weight into your heels. Coming down as low as you can. Three, two, one, and release. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more last time, inhale, and exhale. All right, coming back to the chair pose, shifting weight to that right foot, picking up this front foot, extending that knee, flex. Extend and flex, extend, and flex. Extend that knee. Dorsey flex. Plantar flex. Dorsey flex. Plantar flex. One more time. Dorsey. Plantar. Let's get those toes. Point those toes. Flex them. Point. Bring them up. Point. Bring them up. Dorsey flex. Bend that knee. Chair pose. Woo. Sama Titi He. Titi He. Inhale your arms up. Exhale back into that chair pose. Shift your weight to the right foot. Moving into crescent or anjanyasana. Stepping that foot back behind you. Straighten that leg and set it down behind you. Crescent pose. You can bring your hands to your hips a little bit. Front, the weight is in the front, in the heel of your front foot. It's in the balls of your toes, the balls of your foot in the back foot. Knee is straight. Think about engaging your belly as much as you can. Feeling the, you should feel a stretch right here, right in your quad, in your quads. Inhale your arms up. Holding three, two, one. Go ahead and roll your heel down to the ground in the back. And that small slight change, now we are in warrior one. Holding here, five, four, Three, two, one. Pick that heel back up. Strong work. And we are going to come back into that chair pose. So shifting away into that front foot, dragging our back foot behind us. Chair pose. Samas Titihi. All right. Strong work, guys. Come to the middle of the mat. Roll those. Turn your feet in. We're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale. Slight bend in your knees as you forward fold. These are Prasarita Parottanasana legs. Wide legged forward fold. Holding here. Bend your knees and straighten them. You might notice that after you straighten your knees, you can bend a little bit deeper into it. You bring your torso closer to your thighs. Wonderful. Go ahead and just squat down. Open up those hips, shifting side to side. Straighten those legs, hands on your hips, inhaling all the way up. All right, let's go ahead and work our way down to the ground. So inhaling arms overhead, exhale, lowering down. Bringing your belly button into your spine, lower, 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 lower. Lower slowly. Two, one, oh. 
booty on the mat. Keep lowering down. Make it really slow though. So engage in those belly buttons, belly muscles. Bring your belly button to the spine and lower down. Stand those arms out overhead. Strong work. You guys did so well today. Bring that knee into your chest, rolling that ankle clockwise and counterclockwise across your chest. Holding here for a spinal twist. Three, two, one, and release. Grabbing that foot, that right hand, and have happy baby, or just open it out for a stretch here. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee back into your chest, lower it down. Same thing on the side, knee to your chest. Roll your ankle clockwise and counterclockwise. Cross and across your chest. Hmm, holding. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Bring it out to the side. Holding here. Five. Four, three, two, one. Bring that knee back into the chest. Let's move into a full happy baby. Because I like happy babies. Who doesn't like happy babies? Gently just rocking side to side. Trying to bring your knees all the way down to the ground. And lower your feet down to the ground. One long, last, luxurious stretch. Then bring your hands to your side at 45 degree angles into Savasana. Please don't forget to finish your Savasana. It's really important is how you just enjoy the benefits of your practice. Stay in there for about three to five minutes. I really do hope you enjoy your time with me today. Um, have a wonderful day. Stay well, stay safe, and um, namaste.